So you've got yourself a raised bed for the garden. The question is, how are you going to fill it? My name is John. I live off grid in the high desert of Arizona. I was new to gardening two years when I came out here. I'm still new to gardening. And something that I've learned is I'm as frugal as possible. I'm living off my land, so I need to create my own soil. But to fill an entire raised bed would take a lot of soil. I made all of the soil on my homestead, including that and the beds here in my hoop house. It turns out the natural soil in the high desert is actually loamy, which means it's fairly decent. But when you add organic material such as compost and manure, it turns into something a lot nicer, like you can see here. It just so happens there's a lot of dirt in the high desert. And since I've done a lot of digging lately, I've got just mountains of dirt laying around. My sow just had eight piglets, so I cleaned out her pig pen, and that afforded me a lot of manure. The trick is, however, to compost the manure first before adding it to your soil. I'm not going to be using that manure. I'll throw that into another bin. Goat manure can be used right away and under this layer of dirt I just happen to have a bunch of goat manure that's been aging for over a year. So I'm going to make up my own soil and I could make enough to fill the entire bed but there's a more resourceful way to do it and a way that'll probably yield better results. Recently I started to experiment with Hugo cultures this was the first Hugo culture that I built, and at the very base of it, there's logs and branches and sticks, and as I built it up, there's dirt and cardboard and manure, and as you can see, a lot of things have taken sprout and started to grow really well. In fact, there's a pretty large turnip right here, and my season only started about a month ago. I cut these branches down, and I've had them stacked on the side of the chicken coop with the intention to make a Hugo culture right here. And I just so happen to have this raised bed now. So I'm going to build my Hugo culture inside the raised bed. So I'm going to have to cut the branches down so that they'll fit inside of here. I can add dirt and composted manure and more dirt and more composted manure and mix it up really nicely so I'll have something good to grow in. I also have plenty of cardboard that I can lay down there which will help in composting and breaking down to make a good soil. So I've got all those branches cut up pretty good in here. Of course, I don't want to go all the way to the top. And then I just raked up the area because I do a lot of composting over here. And I had compost back here and whatnot. I've got a nice little pile of pretty composted pieces of wood and, and bark and straw.
Once I got the bulk of the material inside the raised bed, I put in these cross members. Not every raised bed comes with these, but this Vajega model does, so I'll put the link down below if you want to grab one. After the log was cut up and put inside the raised bed, I covered it with some compost you guys saw from out around the, the composting bins, and then I covered it in cardboard. And now I made a mixture of eight shovelfuls of soil and eight shovelfuls of compost to throw down. And I'm going to continue to do that until I get, I probably want to be about three or four inches from the top because I'm going to plant potatoes in here and then I'll be able to add some more soil on top. So I've got my mixture in there and I'm just going to wet everything down a little more than I normally would so that it'll soak down into the cardboard and as uh, soon as I get some of those potatoes to sprout I'll plant some potatoes over here. That's it guys we've got a raised bed full it's basically a Hugo culture in a raised bed. We'll be harvesting potatoes in no time. If you want to get one of these raised beds I'll leave an affiliate link down below. If you got any questions leave a comment and I'll Catch you guys on the next one. Real quick before I go, I want to say thanks to the person that sent in this Fisker's shovel. It's a stainless steel teardrop shaped handle with a large foot pad. And this is going to be great for digging. Unfortunately, the package didn't have a name on it, but I am really grateful. Thanks for sending this in off my wish list.